Get to Know is a segment we do here. It's presented by Chase Sapphire. Yep. Where we dig a little bit deeper and get to know the stories behind the young men being drafted next week. Today, I want to tell the story of a man born and raised in North Dakota, a man with flowing red hair and a distinct smile you will not forget anytime soon. Let's talk not? about <laughs> offensive tackle to NDSU. Mr. Cody Mauk. There we go. Look at this smile. <laughs> Cody Mauk grew up on a farm in Hankinson, North Dakota. Of course he did. He's one of eight siblings. He thinks Bigfoot is real. <laughs> and he's all business on the football field. But this guy, Cody Mauk, in sixth grade, well, he was voting for Pedro. He went with a more comedic performance. Oh Look God, at that Cody Mouk film. Oh, we got it doing the Napoleon Dynamite no. dance. He did it at the talent show. Yes, <laughs> he's got it all. The he's boots and all. everything. Do I even have to talk during this? I feel like no. this is just oh. let him oh, go. Yeah. Let perfect. him cook. It's as perfect. The, as the kids would say, this is Cody Mouk. Mm -hmm. This is going to be your team's next starting oh offensive God. guard. And look at him rock. Look at him go. He's <laughs> on the <laughs> God, he looks good. <laughs> oh, so good. The crowd was going wild. Imagine this kid pulling that out, and he had a blast. I'm going to give him a Great job. Great job, Cody. That was great. great. That was Cody Mauk back in seventh grade. He said he practiced that every night for three months, perfecting the choreography. Nailed it at the talent show. <laughs> then a year later is when he got uh, the signature look that he's rocking here, the no two front teeth. Yeah. Eighth grade basketball tournament. Dives for a loose ball straight into his buddy's head, and he knocks out his two front teeth. He gets sent to the ER. And actually, why am I telling the story? Cody, tell us what happens next. Let's go. That night, and uh, I went through the process of getting him fixed retainers, braces, these flippers with teeth in it, just all, all sorts of stuff. And eventually, I just I kept breaking and losing my retainers all the time. Like my mom, was so mad at me all the time because I have to keep going back to the orthodontist to get new retainers. And eventually, I just kind of stopped wearing it and kind of embraced the whole no two front teeth look. He's <laughs> got no two front teeth, just embraced it. This was him in 2017 when he had the retainers and the whole thing. He was a zero star recruit out of high school. He attended North Dakota State as a walk on, as true? a tight end, okay? Oh my gosh. Tight end. After his first season, he'd been putting on some pounds. The coach said, why don't we move you to offensive tackle? Malk thought it was a joke at the time. He never played offensive line. But he said, all right, let's give it a go. So he started transforming his body a little bit. Went from a 220 pound red shirt freshman in 2017 to a 269 pound offensive lineman in 2018. Mm. In 20, 2019, he goes to 290. And by his final season, Cody Malk had gained over 80 pounds in college, weighing in at 303 pounds for the 2022 campaign. His body changed and so did his game. The dude was dominant. Malk became a second team FCS All-American in 2021. He was first team last season in 2022. He allowed just two sacks over his entire college career. And after gaining all that weight, he did not lose his personality. He's the same dude. After winning the 2022 <laughs> FCS semifinal, he grabbed the violin and played the Bison Victory song that was lent to him by a North Dakota <laughs> middle school earlier in the week. Yeah, I think that devil went down to Georgia. Ooh, right? That looks good, right? Charlie Daniels, man. Yeah. Uh, the students were all watching. They were all <laughs> tweeting him. They wanted him to play the fiddle, and he did. That was him after they won the game. Three days later, here he is at the at the middle school, and he's actually with Getting the lessons. kids, and he's learning how to play the fiddle and teaching them how to play the violin. They're teaching him, I think. Um, <laughs> Cody embraced it. He's a local legend. He is beloved. He was later applauded for not only improving his game, but his skills uh, in the string quartet. This is the man. He goes to the combine, and after an awesome senior bowl, does everything right. And there's his red hair flowing. Dude runs a much faster 40 time than was projected. Ran a faster 40 than Peter Skaronsky, who's the number one rated tackle in this entire draft. Dude's awesome. He's gonna go in the first two days. Likely a second round pick, but I'm curious. Here he is, he's gonna have this entire new life. He's gonna be in a metropolitan city. He's not living on the farm anymore. Do you keep the no two front teeth in the pros? Do you continue to rock with that? 
or do you now get your face fixed and try to get the teeth filled? Guys, I go to the table. Yeah. This is it. Peter, uh, imagine that red hair being the second most interesting thing about your look appearance. Look at this. I mean, there is a guy who Scott, works... Let, uh, let, let's get it. What do we got here? Right I mean, up the street doing Good Morning America, who has gone a long way with the tooth gap. Cody has only just widened it and I think improved on it. Straight hands got one tooth gap. This is two Several front gaps. Just That's the one. Don't, don't do a thing, Cody. Don't do a thing. Jason. You know, I saw Jamie. there was one mock that had him going to L.A. The only place I would think he would need to aesthetically get it changed would be Los Angeles. It'd be more of a Hollywood look to have all the teeth. 31 other, 30, 30 other cities, I would say, have at it, Cody. Keep the, keep the look as it is. No, I'm for it. You can see the confidence in this one. The 2017 picture, you had the retainers in. You could barely see it. I don't want that guy on my team. No. No. This, you see the smile. He's happy. He's confident. He loves it. Rock with it. He's going to have all type of marketing deals. I yeah. feel like I can see this man wearing a mummer's costume on a bus. Ooh. Eagles. A, you know, like Eagles. he has a Kelsey vibe to him that's I like, like it. personality. Yeah. You must accept it. I'm proud of it. I carry it with He'll me. He'll come up with something, though. Yeah. I'm excited for yeah. it. Jim Nagy from the Senior Bowl says this is one of the favorite guys he's ever had come through Mobile. Shout out to Rich Goldberg, our producer, who not only found the uh, vote for Pedro dance, but also got all that footage from the violin yeah. and fiddle. Love it. Get to know, guys. Let's These go. are fun personalities. Yes, we got the are. NFL, and we're, we're getting some great new college. Peter, how about you?